Healthy lifestyle is very important at any point in your life, but particularly in pregnancy. Um, a lot of people make a lot of changes in pregnancy, um, eating the right amounts of food, really eating the right types of food, including lots of fruit and vegetables. So trying to keep away from the refined carbohydrates or packaged foods as we call them. They have lots of sugars and lots of hidden salt. So if we try and revert back to cooking at home, cooking from scratch, fresh meats, fresh fish, lots of vegetables, and you can eat these all day long. There's no minimum amount and there is no maximum amount. It's really, really important in pregnancy that you cook your food thoroughly, whether it's eggs, whether it's fish, whether it's meat. It's also very important to wash your raw vegetables completely and your fruits. It's important to eat regularly throughout the day, so I would advise three meals with three snacks, so not having large meals, making them smaller, making them balanced, having equal amounts of everything, drinking lots of water throughout the day. Now cheeses and pâtés, they all have to be, pâtés are not allowed in pregnancy. Cheeses have to be, everything has to be pasteurised, so the milk that you have also. And the eggs, make sure they're completely well cooked. Women are allowed to eat nuts unless they are allergic to them. Um, but they have to be kept at, an, at a minimum. So you, if you like nuts, it's absolutely fine. You can eat them, but just not too many. Fizzy drinks are a no-no. If you're really, really addicted to them, it's good to try and reduce the amount that you have, but also drink lots of fluid, lots of water. What happens is when you have fizzy drinks and you have lots of caffeine, you'll have lots of tea and lots of coffee, it actually dehydrates your body. So it's more likely to make you constipated. Alcohol in pregnancy is really a no-no. Um, the research suggests that women should be having one unit of alcohol per week. However, I would just suggest not to have any. Try and include, include other sorts of drinks. You can, uh, there's lots of things you can do, like fresh juicing, have lots of water, lots of fresh juices, not from concentrate. And coffee should be one cup a day. Physical activity is really important. It's really important to start, to start slowly. If you have not had any physical activity for a long period of time, maybe just start walking once a day and just make that route longer. If you're already training or you're already exercising, you could do any of that, any of that training and that's absolutely fine. However, if you are running long distances or you're losing lots of, lots of weights, just reduce the amount as a pregnancy goes on. Swimming's a great exercise. It's all around body conditioning, uses all the muscles in your body. It's great for cardiovascular and strength building, particularly in pregnancy. There definitely is a myth that's going around that pregnant ladies should eat for two. However, they should not eat for two. Um, they should just eat normal, average meals like they would normally consume, just try and make them a little bit healthier. The research is that there should only be 300 extra calories in the third trimester, so in your last three months of pregnancy and when you're breastfeeding, that's sufficient calories to keep you going for baby to grow and also to produce enough milk. It's very important to combine the two. One doesn't work without the other. So if you're increasing your activity, you also then need to fuel your body sufficiently. When you're pregnant, you need to give your baby the right amount of um, minerals and vitamins for your baby to grow. So if, the idea is if mummy is healthy, baby will then be healthy, will have a great pregnancy. Healthy lifestyle is very important. Um, if we can keep mommy healthy, we can have a healthier pregnancy, we can have a healthier delivery and we can have healthier postnatal recovery for both mommy and for baby and that is our aim.